Hi friends, Mark Fox here with another edition of Amazing Prophecies. We have all seen the cartoon pictures of heaven, white robed people with a halo sitting on a puffy cloud, harps in hand, or a dreamy ethereal place with people floating around and nothing to do. It's no wonder people brush off the idea of heaven as a fantasy or as an undesirable place. Well, what does the Bible really tell us about heaven? Now let me share with you five fast facts about heaven that will blow your mind and inspire your faith. Number one, heaven is a real place for real people. One of Jesus' most thrilling promises is found in John 14, one to three, quote, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. This place, or heaven, is not a misty or dreamlike place for disembodied, ghost-like souls floating through clouds. After Jesus was resurrected, he had a real, physical, glorified, immortal body. Quote, Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When Jesus comes again, our bodies will be transformed or resurrected to be like His. Our new glorious body will never be subject to death or to pain. According to Revelation 21, this wonderful place is made of solid materials such as jasper, gold, pearls, and more. Physical materials for real people in a real place. Number two, heaven will be a place of unimaginable beauty. God who created our five senses has been preparing a place for us ever since his ascension. Think of it. He created the world in six days and it was perfectly beautiful. So just imagine the beauty of a place that he has been custom designing for a few thousand years. It makes me wonder, will there be new colors, some perhaps that we have never seen? Will there be new taste sensations, or hearing sensations, or touching sensations? Our imagination is just too limited to picture the beauty of heaven. The Apostle Paul declares, Eye has not seen, nor ear heard, neither hath entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians 2, 9. Number three, heaven's inhabitants will engage in exciting out of this world activities. Here are just a few of the things we will do. Galaxy travel. The Bible says that we will be like angels. Angels travel through worlds, through unseen dimensions in time warp speed. We will judge and reign with Christ. This is amazing, but true. Building, planting, and harvesting your own mouth-watering crops. Remember, sweat came in after sin. So our work will be pure fun without all the sweat. Unlimited enjoyment of family and friends, and ever making new friends with people from every time period over 6,000 years, with angels and with other intelligent beings we do not know about. Fellowshipping with your guardian angel and able to ask him any question about how he helped you in your life on earth. We will live within a zoo. We will enjoy uncaged animals galore. No worries, all animals will be following a strictly vegan diet. We will also enjoy learning more and more about creation and science and about God and His love. Just as God loves to create, we also will enjoy creating things. We will use our abilities to create art in all of its forms. We will listen to God sing. But best of all, we will worship God, see Him face to face, and get to talk and walk with Him. So I say this, get your questions ready. Number four, in heaven, we will each retain our own personality and be uniquely different, and yet, and most amazingly, everybody will get along. It is easy to picture a monotonous world where everybody will think alike and say the same things and like the same things. Not so. Nowhere in the Bible does it hint 
that we will be robotic creatures. Paul stated, now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I also am known. Number five, our heavenly home, the new Jerusalem, will move to planet Earth. The Bible makes it clear that after a thousand years, the earth will be recreated before our very eyes and the new Jerusalem will move to this brand spanking new earth. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Revelation 21 verses 1 and 2. Remember Jesus' words in Matthew 5, 5? Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Violence and terror have forced over 60 million people from their homes just in the last few years. The highest number ever recorded since World War II. Every travel-worn refugee is desperately seeking a better, safer, more peaceful, fruitful place to call home. They hope against hope, but their future is unknown. Are you looking forward to a better, safer, perfectly peaceful and joyful place to call home? Do you desire to live with a loving God who longs to be with you so much that He gave His life so that He could be with you forever? If you accept Jesus as your Savior and trust in Him, your future will be certain and your place in heaven will be secure. I leave you with Jesus' own prayer for you. Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me where I am, John 17, 24. Friends, if you miss out on heaven, you miss out on everything. Don't miss out on this too wonderful for words invitation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it and share it. Subscribe if you are new and click on the notifications icon next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Also, check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. May God bless you in your quest to understand end-time truth that sets us forever free.